um, please don't worry. The shells on the floor are only blanks. There's no gunpowder in them. So, what do you think of my room? Are you surprised? To be honest, I was hesitant to invite you here. I don't have any welcoming decorations to make this feel like a home. It's hard to believe I ever thought this room was normal. But that's exactly why I wanted to show it to you. As you can see from the decor, I'm a machine. I'll never be the same as humans like Yukari-san or Mitsuru-san. It used to bother me, but I figured something out. There's something only I can say. Because I am unable to die. I will never leave you, no matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be by your side. You will always remain in my heart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I've... grown since then. I'm not afraid, and I won't give up. I'll get back up, no matter how many times it takes. I'll fight by your side and protect you. This is the proof of my resolve, and I want you to have it. It's... a part of me. If living is about spending time with people you've forged relationships with, then I want to be closer to you than anyone else. My connection to you is my reason for living. What's most important to me is to be by your side. favor to ask. At the base of my neck, behind the knot of my ribbon, that's where my most important component is. The artificial psyche that makes me who I am, my emotional engine. The papillon heart. It's extremely delicate, and I'm not allowed to expose it outside of the laboratory's clean room. But I want you to touch it. If you make direct contact with it, your genetic information will most likely be burnt into it. Even so, I want you to do it. I want to leave irrefutable proof on my body of our connection. Not just as a simple memory, but as something permanent. Something that can never be erased. Coming into direct contact with my heart, um... I apologize in advance if I say something odd, or make unusual noises. For safety, I'll be shutting off the motor functions to my arms and legs. Well then, um... Will you untie my ribbon? <laughs> <laughs> 